Easiest way for most athletes to do some form of deep squatting is just to elevate the heels, get a good active foot, and I can just easily drop down into a deep squat. Now, in the Vert Code Elite, we do a lot of heels elevated, so that's just heels elevated on a plate, and it's the same thing. It's kind of pitching us forward. It's taking the ankle range of motion out of the equation, so now we can get nice and low. Now, one variation I like a lot is just a Hindu squat where I keep my weight back, so I keep my shoulders over the hips, and then it's sort of just a pulse down at the bottom so it's almost like an oscillating squat and i'm on the balls of the feet so again this isn't really challenging dorsiflexion range of motion that's never going to be the limiting factor now i can get this full range of motion without any ankle restrictions and i can train that bottom range why does that matter is that going to translate to athleticism probably not unless you're a beginner um, but it is good for overall joint health we got to put our joints to a full range of motion every single day and cartilage actually adapts to compression. So like tendons and muscle will adapt to tension. So you place tension on it and it will adapt, it will grow stronger. Cartilage is a little bit different, it needs compression. And so putting it under a full range of motion under some load is a great way to do that and get our cartilage to adapt. So you can start on two legs and then I like to go to a split stance and it's almost the same thing, it's a baby split. I really don't like deep lunges where you kind of flare the rib cage, but you can go toe in line with this heel, come to the balls of the feet on both, and I can still hold on if you still need to for balance. And then I can work here and I can really focus on getting this front leg loaded. So it's almost a unilateral, but I still have a second base of support. And then from there you go unloaded, and then from there you can go goblet position or wear a weighted vest. And it's really easy I can get a full knee bend, really focusing on shifting my weight forward to this leg. Eventually, you could even get this rear foot elevated, come to the ball of the foot, a short step. So instead of a normal long step for a rear foot elevated, it'd be more of a short step, and you could still go down and achieve a full range of motion in the knee. Now, again, if we're looking at split squat variations to increase athleticism, I would rather load a little bit and hit some more specific joint angles. So if you step into an approach jump at this angle right here on the plant leg, that's an angle that I would want to get to. So I could load up in a rear foot elevated position, I can do a Smith machine, and I can load a little bit better in those ranges. Now you don't wanna go overboard, you always wanna balance. I get my full range for health, and then I get my partial range or my half range of my more joint specific angles for athleticism. Pair the two together, you got the best of both worlds. Let's get it.